Hey folks, this is Rob, and I'm Nathan, and we are Two, Two Guys in a Ride. Ride, and oh my gosh, Nathan, we are here yeah. with some fantastic folks, and today we are at Idle Ridge, in, uh, right outside of St. Cloud, Minnesota, and we are with Jim and Brenda, and they're going to share with us some of their fantastic collection of memorabilia, gas pumps, uh, we've got a cool boat, we've got a terraplane, we've got a Dodge Coronet, we've got a Corvette. And I'd say something, but and Rob I'm not letting stop. him because I'm so excited. <laughs> but folks, it's we, fantastic. You're going to love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going on and on because I'm so excited. But just keep watching and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Yes, you uh, are. Take a moment, hit that red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel so you never miss uh, a video. And hit that bell notification. And if you like what you see, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and leave some comments down below if you'd like to see more so what do you say folks Nathan let's, let's take a ride. ride all right um, I had a whole winter's project pristinely restoring the boat motor and trailer and um, we're gonna take it on our maiden voyage tomorrow morning and it's been a whole winter project but um, I'm into motors and I've always said anything with wheels and um, now we're getting into classic boats and it has a wheel, a steering wheel. So we're good. So, uh, now Jim, this has a, a Mercury motor on it. Yes. And which is all original. And uh, and period, period correct. What, again, what year is this though? Is, this is the 1959 it? Falls Flyer, made by the Larson Company. 30 miles north here in Little Falls. In Little Falls. On Highway 10. Yep. Wow. And this is a so this is a Mark 58A motor. Do you know how much horsepower roughly? I don't, uh, but um, what I did is I did a little research. Not enough knowing about the 58A, but this is a 45 horse four cylinder Merc. And you got to remember the technology back in uh, in uh, in the 1950s. Think of a four cylinder motor back in the 50s. But I bet you, and I haven't had it open, but I bet you the, the, the pistons aren't probably any bigger than a silver dollar. Right. But yet they had four cylinders. And as they developed more and more cylinders, it made for a smoother running engine. Mm -hmm. And so when Cadillac got all the way up to the V16, that purred like a kitten in a cream room. And it was so smooth that, you know, because you had all those cylinders right. firing versus just the one cylinder yeah. and then the two cylinders. Then they went to four, and then um, iconic Henry Ford in 1932 introduced the first flathead V8. And um, uh, Clyde Barrows sent a letter to Henry Ford one day, and he said, you know what, Henry? He said, your car has kept me out of prison. I never bought one. I always stole them. But he said, um, I could always keep ahead of the police. <laughs> Until he got shot. Until, yeah, Until yeah. he got shot. That's right. So uh, now, in, in, the, in the back of this boat, you've got uh, something unique here. With, you've got uh, Jackman and Luke Man. Well, Tell us a little bit about that. I will. And um, um, one of my old buddies is John McDowell that I mentioned yeah. earlier. Do you remember the moron? Yeah. Yeah? OK. <laughs> <laughs> but he calls me that too. But anyway, um, I just love little kids and I was a workaholic so I'd never made little kids. And he has got two of the cutest little grandsons. I just want to eat them up every time I see them. And being that we own a partnership, um, it's Jack and Luke. And so I put Jack Man and Luke Man in there. 
and now uh, the McDowell's for generations made nothing but boys, 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 boys. And here, four or five months ago, they had their first grandbaby and it's a girl. Wow. And so I'm gonna put her name in there oh, too. Oh, and, um, and, um, I think it would be fitting if you put her name in the front. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, but we'd have to ask her that, but we'd get the same answer. But we had just have to wait a few years. But anyway, what I was so excited about the this classic boat is as we know, it was all about fins in the 50s. Yeah. And so then in the, in the um, I think it wasn't until about 58 that the Larson fellas said, you know what? We're gonna really hit a home run with a boat and we're gonna put the fins on the boat. And so it, what, what attracted me so much to the boat is that it's got fins like the 50s and it even comes complete with tail lights. And I thought yes. that was so cool to have tail lights on both. Yeah, and we'll, we'll show this to you in a, in a picture, but they are really neat, as well as the top of the flag post being lit up. Well, because they call them glow poles. Yeah. And they put a light underneath that Lexan pole. Yeah. And then at night, it, it lights up the pole real nice. And then that beehive on top is even a little brighter because they use some prism work and stuff yeah. like that. And they've got just, there's some really neat uh, work on the trailer here too. Well, I think that's important to highlight because a lot of people take a lot of time to refurbish the boat, but you actually spent a lot of time and effort in the trailer as well. Well, I did, and here's, here's what happened. I bought it from an old fellow that his dad bought it brand new in 1959 when I was four years old. But his dad was saving some money, so he built a horrible, homemade trailer and so once we we got into the boat I said you know what I've got to go out and I've got to find the original 59 teeny trailer and teeny was a huge manufacturer it's t-e-e-n-e-e -E -E. and they're supposed to be yellow and um, but the real fancy one had the fins and the tail lights in the fins and so I went after that trailer like you wouldn't believe and I finally scratched one up. Now this trailer sold for $179 brand new in 59. By the time I got it and restored it and put the white walls on it, um, we've got just about $5,000 in the trailer. But um, we're just real proud of it. And of course, again, um, John McDowell and I are in partnership. And um, now we're looking at another classic boat. And knowing that guy, we'll probably have more. Uh, so Jim, is there anything else you want to tell us about this? I mean, was there a particular reason you wanted this particular boat or? Well, kind of, sort of, because this old guy that I told you I bought it from. Right. He happened, he, he was a distant relative of ours. His grandma was a feminist. And so I knew okay. that he had this boat forever. And about 30 years ago, I tried to get it off him. And he said, no, Jim, he said, I'll never sell that boat. My dad bought it new. And I said, I understand. And here, a uh, little over a year ago, his wife passed away. And then he called me one day and he said, Jim, he said, do you still want that boat? And I said, I'd be interested in it, but not for that stupid money you were talking 30 years ago. Yeah. And he said, well, no. He said, I want it to go to somebody that's going to take care of it and so on and so forth. So then I called my friend John McDowell. And I said, John Dew. I said, um, come up to Idle Ridge, and I said, we're gonna take a journey down the grade because the fellow lives just down the grade. What do you want there? I said, well, we're gonna look at a 59 Falls Flyer. And so we went down there, and all of a sudden he got a little peek in his eye, and he said, okay, let's go ahead and do it. And um, not that it's a big dollar deal, but him and I went in partnership on this because they've got an amazing place out on Big Fish Lake, and so we go out there because they have a nice sandbar and you know it's all about engaging people and telling stories and having fun so if you go to a car show then people want to talk to you and when we go to big fish lake they've got an amazing sandbar out there and on a hot summer day there's 30 40 boats out there and when you take a classic boat you meet everybody on that sandbar what is it and then you strike up a conversation, and that's the car passion, the boat passion, the Petroliana passion, 
is all about bringing people together and it's all about stories and it's all about meeting new people and again Jaguar Gene you're in trouble <laughs> <laughs> All right, and on that note, Jim, thank you so much. We appreciate it. What a wonderful story and a boat. And we're very proud to have you guys up to Idle Ridge. Thank you. You bet.